While we're nearly done all the finish work here, I've got the baseboard up, some of the trim up. You can see the windows all trimmed out there. Um, I've got the quarter round on the, in the corners of the walls there going up. Uh, it's all painted again. Um, all of the nail holes are, have been dapped over and then and repainted. So it's finally starting to come together. And one thing that I forgot to mention actually uh, in, in the previous update was the fact that we took the door out. So you can see that there's no door in there anymore. We took the frame out. Um, all the, the hinges, the door, the frame, and we're actually going to be putting an outside door in there, and that's just to seal out the dust uh, even better than a than a standard inside door. So this is a 36 inch opening where uh, we got a 34 door for that. It'll fit perfectly in there, and uh, so as a result, I haven't been able to finish the baseboard here yet. So we just cut some some strips, and I've just uh, fit them in loose there. So once we get the door in, then I'll be able to uh, finish off the baseboard there, put the trimmer on the door, and uh, and finish off this section here. Um, otherwise everything else is finished, the baseboard looks pretty good. This section is all done here. The floor was actually pretty um, pretty wavy, the, the cement, it, I mean the cement job was okay, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't perfectly level, so I did have to add that, uh, that bottom strip there at the foot of the baseboard. Uh, you can see there's still some gaps underneath, uh, especially in that corner there, uh, just a little bit in that corner over there. But I mean, otherwise it's pretty good. It's, uh, it's nice and flush to the floor in, uh, in the other areas. 
Uh, one spot I did want to show you here was the, the vacuum port. So I, this is that floor vac I was mentioning to you in the beginning. Um, this is uh, like you just kick it open with your foot. Let's pull it there and, uh, and it'll open. It turns on the vacuum, there's like a little contact on the side. It, it, uh, it closes once this flips up. So that you can sweep all, all the dust in there, suck it up and then just push it, push it closed there. So it's a nice little unit there. So I made a little box for it, boxed it out and uh, put the baseboard right up to it. So it turned out pretty well. Looks kind of sleek there. I don't know about that, that top quarter round piece I put on there. Uh, it was kind of sticking out from the wall. Like um, the, the baseboard didn't finish flush to the back there. So I thought I'd just put that on to cover it up. Don't really like the look of that. But anyways, it's, uh, it's okay. And then this vacuum port too. So uh, the plate behind the wall is actually for uh, half inch finish board. So half inch drywall. That was sticking out of the wall. So I tried cutting it down with the roto zip and then putting the plate on but the plate actually still sticks out of the wall. So I had to put this backing board on it first and then um, I cut, like there's like a hole basically. This is just like a like a frame just right around. And uh, and then I could put this plate in through it. So now it looks looks pretty good. It kind of builds it out. Not a bad, not a bad uh, job there. Just put a bit of a bevel on the side there and uh, it looks okay. So those are the two, I guess, unique things here. Uh, I've also put on the blast gates. These finally came in. We got them from Lee Valley. And uh, these, basically they just, they open up here and then it opens up the uh, the ports to the side. It opens up the port to the uh, to the vacuum tubes there. So, um, as I've mentioned before, this is the, uh, the main vac here at the bottom. This is where the shop vac is gonna sit. So this will pretty much be open all the time. And, uh, and I'll have the vacuum hooked up to here. So, that's gonna suck up from every other one of these ports out here. So if I'm gonna be using, say, the, the chop saw here, I would open this one and uh, and it would suck up from this port here. And since all the other blast gates are gonna be closed, then uh, it'll just suck up from this one port here. And I, I was reading up on uh, which, like, the, the best orientation to mount this on. I was thinking initially vertically, so you'd have to lift the gate, but um, I was doing some research and they said that mounting it horizontally um, pulling the gate off to the side is is uh, one of the better ways. I guess it's just for chip clearance here. There's better chip clearance when it's horizontal or something. I don't know. Um, uh, ideally, you'd want this to be mounted 90 degrees this way so that you'd have to be pulling the gate out to the side. That's uh, that's the ideal setup, but since I'm mounting this on a wall, it's not really going to work. So that's, uh, that's probably one of the better ways in this configuration here. Uh, yeah, so anyways, they're all on. And it's finally starting to get trimmed out. All the plug switches and stuff are on as well. Um, you can see these are the twist lock receptacles that I have here. So this, these, uh, these four things here are basically going to be for that center workbench. So that's the blast gate for the table saw, uh, workbench plugs, table saw plugs, uh, plug, and then uh, and the shop backs um, switch outlet. This is this is a 15 amp uh, twist lock receptacle. I'm just going to be using it for the low voltage um, shop back signal. It's, uh, it's just a way so I can get a twist lock there. Uh, you'll see later, I'll, uh, I'll show you what I'm gonna do with that later, but uh, anyways, that's all on. I don't have, I don't have the switches on for the vac vacuum yet. I'm gonna be doing that all at the very end when I hook them all up and uh, when I do the relay panel up in there, so I'll do that later. But otherwise, it's, uh, it's pretty well set to go. I'm gonna be building the workbenches, bringing in the, uh, bringing in the, the cupboards and st starting to furnish this workshop. I'm pretty happy with the way that it turned out. It's pretty clean looking now too. Much better than it was before. I'll show you the window trim here too. On the baseboard we have, uh, we have three and a half inch trim. And up here we have two and a half inch. So it's the same. It's the same profile, just a smaller trim for the window. The, the reason we went with smaller is so that we could have uh, adequate space on the top. We won't have to cut it or notch it or anything. And that way, it still looks pretty good. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna keep going with the time lapse. Uh, 
I'll be building some of the workbenches and uh, we'll be putting that door as well and then finishing up the trim down there. <laughs> 